say hello to Thor the Falcon. Hello, Thor along with his trainer, Andy Simmons. You may not know that falcons are sentinels watching over our vineyards. John Blackstone has sent us a dispatch from California wine country. It's no wonder Jack London once wrote about California wine country, I have everything to make me glad I'm alive. The rolling hills, the endless blue skies, and the perfect weather. It's a nature lover's paradise. But all that nature can be a problem. That's what we're guarding against here. Just ask Ramsgate cool. Vineyard Manager Ned Hill. Deer, rabbits, coyotes, raccoons, foxes, birds, you, you name it, it's stuff. Uh, grapes are tasty when they get ripe. And so, like any cash crop, grapes need protection. And here, Bo Bastion is the muscle. Armed with a noisy motorcycle and a determined terrier named Gus, Bastion patrols the grounds. That a boy! But perhaps the most important on, member of his security team is the one who patrols the skies. This is Zook, and uh, Zook is a male jeer peregrine falcon. Zook is here to protect against starlings. I'm just looking over there. Is this what, What's this coming across here those, now? Those are starlings right there. Hey, hey! If hen houses have foxes, vineyards have starlings, European starlings, an invasive species that first appeared in Northern California in the 1930s. As the vineyards grew, they spread out like a picnic lunch for the birds. Big flocks like that come into a field, they're voracious and they can take care of stuff pretty quick. At first, Ramsgate tried the traditional methods like noisemakers, colored tape and netting. None of it worked well. And I just figured there had to be a better way because I was getting frustrated. I was getting frustrated with the amount of time and effort that we were putting into to doing this bird netting. Even though it was somewhat successful, the birds were still pecking through it. So Hill brought in reinforcements. This is Larry. This is Larry. <laughs> Larry Bird. <laughs> Larry Bird. <laughs> he doesn't look so big and scary. He doesn't when he's sitting, but birds aren't designed for sitting on the ground. But when he's in flight, he's pretty scary. Hill hired Kathleen Teagan and her apprentice, Bo, to help protect his crop. What do these birds think when they see a falcon? Well, in nature, falcons are prone to hunt other flying birds. And those flying birds are prone to know that when a falcon is flying, that it's hunting. So when those birds see a falcon in flight, they know they're being hunted. Tegan's company, Tactical Avian Predators, also puts falcons to work at airports and golf courses that have bird problems. Why does it work? <laughs> um, falconry abatement works because it's, it's nature. We're not doing anything different than what happens in nature. We're using nature against nature. And vineyard manager Ned Hill says it's a pretty good matchup. Can you quantify how much better this has made things? I think it's a solid 50%. which translates to saving about $250,000 a year in production. The lack of yield that we would get because the birds are physically eating the berries, the compromised clusters that come in that we need to sort through and get rid of, there's a 50% difference now uh, having the falcon workforce. Because falcons can be dangerous, they're highly regulated. It's illegal to possess a falcon, a bird of prey. You actually must be in possession of a permit issued by the federal government. To become a licensed falconer like Tegan can take years. You undergo a two-year apprenticeship to become a falconer, and then at 10 years, you become a master falconer. Ha! Ha! Bo Bastion is serving his apprenticeship with Tegan's company hey, in the hopes hey, that hey. one day he'll be a master falconer himself. And you get to watch all your animals doing their job, and they love their job. At the end of the day, when you're putting your birds up and you've done a good job protecting a vineyard, that feels good, you know? It's all cool stuff. In case you were wondering, no starlings were harmed in the making of this story. The falcons just scare the birds, chase them away, then return for a reward. Wow. A tasty wow. piece of previously frozen quail.